and welcome to the Red Men TV. Liverpool have beaten Watford by one goal to nil. You know this. I know this. Let's get stuck into the player ratings. Going to start with Simon Mignolet. Um, on his goalkeeping, he gets a 9 out of 10. On his kicking, he gets a 6 out of 10. I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10 regardless. Look, his kicking's not great. I know this, but his saves are wonderful. His saves have been wonderful the last few weeks and stuff. And what a performance again. Look, and the, you know what? That's even with a referee and a, and a team of officials taking saves off him. I mean, that one where he tipped it over the bar, that, that is a br brilliant, beautiful save from that man, Simon Mignolet. Um, right back, Nathaniel Klein. I thought he was good. I, again, you know, he's been taking so much stick recently. But, yeah, he was going at his man. He, 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 he doesn't go past his man every single time. He's a right back, but he was attempting it. And, you know, I'd rather see him try and go and get to the byline than not. And today he's done that for me and he defended well as well. So I'm going to give him um, an 8 out of 10. Uh, in the centre of the park, Joel Matip, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. Just, again, superb. Like, a little bit... Little bit infuriated by him and Lovren being really high up the pitch, dead late on. But you know what? Ultimately, they did what they needed to do and they got a clean sheet and that's all that matters. Dejan Lovren, I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. I thought he was superb. He just won absolutely everything again. Left back, James Milner, um, 7 out of 10. Um, look, uh, good, again. Uh, uh, he is what he is. He's a, he's a solid choice at left back and you know he cut out a few crosses there and he, he keeps on signing on forward. And you know what? Fuck this. Actually, James Milner gets a 9 out of 10 for his use of the dark arts. Just every single time he had a throw in, he would sort his socks out and he'd let balls bounce off him. And do you know what? That's just full on Chelsea stuff. And I normally hate that. But when you need to win and it really matters like that, he gets extra points for that. He gets two extra points for just being a bit of a tit. And I love it. Um, Centre of the park, Emre Chan. All right, performance really, wasn't it? Probably a 6 out of 10 or something from Emre. I don't think he really did anything of note. Um, yeah, six out of ten. Can't think of can't think of anything that he's done there. Nothing at all. Let me know in the comments section if you think Henry Chan deserves more than a six out of ten. Oh wait, you all think he deserves a ten out. Okay, look, this is for Liverpool fans. It's not about me. It's about you. You want him to get a ten out of ten. I'm happy to give him a ten. Look, um, yeah, yeah, you're right. It was a stupid thing for me to say. Emery Chan gets a 10 out of 10. I'm so sorry. Emery Chan gets a 10 out of 10. What? Yeah, the goal. It was the goal, wasn't it? It was the goal. It was his It was his wonder goal. It was his goal of the season. He was superb. That's what Emery Chan can do. Give that man a new contract and a red men mug. If anyone sees Emery Chan, give him a red men mug for me and £200,000 a week for scoring the goal of the season. Brilliant, brilliant. And right, you're right. And lads, I, uh, girls, I listen to you. You get to 10 out of 10. I'm so sorry. What was I thinking? Uh, Gino Wijnaldum, 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10. Just, just, he's robotic. He doesn't sweat. He's dead strong. He never loses the ball. He got played left wing for most of the second half. Just gets on with it and gets the job done every single time. Phil Coutinho, 6 out of 10. 7 because he got injured. But ultimately, Adam Lallana came on and he gets a 9 out of 10. Just, just, it's just Adam Lallana, isn't it? He's just brilliant. He's just absolutely brilliant. He's a 9 out of 10, definitely. Lucas Leiva, 9 out of 10. Look, we had the Lovren and Leiva sandwich once again, and the filling this time was Troy Deeney. And he probably wouldn't have liked that, and he was getting a little bit het up and stuff, some scandalous little things he was trying, like wrapping his leg down defenders and Mignolet and all that type of stuff. Boss, because you know what that means? It means we're playing him well, and it means we're playing him how he doesn't want to be played, and it worked because he didn't score a goal. <laughs> yes, thank you very much, Lucas Leiva and Dejan Lovren for that. Roberto Firmino, probably one of the quieter players. 7 out of 10 for Bobby. Um, Divock Origi, 7 out of 10. Willing runner in the second half, but second half, he was much better than the first half. First half, he was really isolated again. But once the channel started to open up after the first goal and stuff, you know, they had to push on a little bit further. Divock got a little bit more space, nearly scored as well, bending that, bending that in. And Gomez makes another good save there. Uh, I think that's everybody. It's Daniel Sturridge, yeah, 6 out of 10. And Claven, what can I give Claven? You know what, he, 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 he was covering for Matip's run. No, you get to 6 out of 10, I'm not messing. Um, okay, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the Red Men TV on YouTube and check out the rest of the post-match content. We're all happy, 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 happy Red Men tonight. And you are too. Thanks for watching.